Hey, welcome to another tutorial here. My name is Rob Balasabas, and today I want to show you a new feature that StreamYard just launched. It's called Guest Destinations. And so let me share my screen and we're going to jump right into this. All right, so here we go. All right, so here we are inside of my StreamYard account. Now, if you don't have StreamYard set up yet, you don't have an account, then the first thing you need to do is just pause this video, head over to the descriptions and actually find the link. It should be at the top of the description to get a free trial of StreamYard, all right? So you need that so that you can follow along this video. There's a free trial, a 14-day free trial, and you can get access to any StreamYard plan. I suggest going for the pro plan so that you can play with all the different features and then decide after 14 days which plan is best for you. That way you get to check out all of the different features available. All right, so let's get back to this video, which is all about the guest destination feature. Now, what does this, what does this feature allow you to do? This allows your guest to connect their social channels, their Facebook page, their Facebook group, their LinkedIn, their YouTube channel, um, any RTMP destination uh, that they have so that the live stream that they're you're collaborating with them on your show will also go and stream on their channels and it's really cool it's a great way to collaborate organically it's a great way to share your audiences organically and just get more exposure more awareness and more viewers for your live stream all right so it's really really easy now what you need to do when you do this is you go into your broadcast and there's other tutorials on my channel to show you how to set up a broadcast you would go in Let's go into the studio here, one of my test studio rooms. It's just going to load right here. And where you want to go is, I'm going to turn off the camera here, is you're going to go into settings. Okay, settings right there. And once you get into the settings, you're going to go into guests. Okay, so I'm going to show that again. Guests right here. Okay, boom. And you want to check this new checkbox right here. Guests can stream this to their own destination. All right. Now, let me know if you have any questions. If you got to this place right here, let me know if you have any questions up until this point. Okay. Now, what is your guest going to see? Okay. When they go and you send them the link. Again, remember, how do you send a link? How do you send a guest? You're going to go in and you're going to invite your guest. Okay. So we're going to enter the studio. I'm going to show you again really quickly how you invite a guest. Okay. So remember this when you go here and you go down at the bottom and there's an invite button right here, right? With a little, um, you know, icon of a person there. You click that invite button, right? And you got the little pop up that says invite guests and you can share this link with them. Okay. You can press this copy button. This copies that link and you can send it to your guest. Once they click it, they can go in and they become a guest inside of your broadcast room. It's really, really straightforward, really easy. Okay. Now, what are they going to see when they log in? Okay. I'm going to go into the StreamYard because I'm going to go inside the StreamYard help desk, uh, help section here. Okay. So what they're going to see is they're going to go in and they're going to enter the studio and they're going to be able to see this button right here. Okay. Stream this to your audience. Okay. Okay, once they, once they click on that, it'll ask them to connect their destinations, just like you have, whether it's their LinkedIn profile or YouTube channel. It's going to ask them connect to connect that. It's going to take a few, few moments for them to do that. It's very easy, but each guest, as you can see here, can add up to two destinations, and there's a limit of six guest destinations total for the broadcast. So what you can do is you can have yourself and three guests, each with two destinations each, two, a YouTube channel each, and maybe a Facebook group or a Facebook page each, and that's six destinations for your guests. So now you, on top of your own destinations, you could have over 10 destinations where this live stream is going to. Different audiences, different pages, different channels. It's really amazing and just makes it so easy. Okay, what plan is this available on? It's on all the paid plans. Okay, this is a really important question here. Do guests need to be on a paid plan? No, they do not. Guests do not have to be on a paid plan. Okay, they can just be a free user. They don't even they don't, they don't have to be on a paid plan. Okay, do guests need to create an account to add a destination? Yes, guests must be logged in. Okay, so your guest does need to create a StreamYard account, but 
they do not have to have a paid account. Okay, can can host uh, edit or delete a guest destination? Yes, they can't edit the details. Okay, like the title or anything like that. Okay, but the host can remove a guest destination from the broadcast. That's very important because you never know, right? It might be going to a channel that maybe you don't want it to go to, and that's very important, right? So you have control. As the host, you can control uh, de deleting uh, a guest destination. Okay, we're going to go through a couple more FAQs here. Does the guest need to be in the studio when the broadcast starts? Can they leave partway through? No, they don't need to be in the studio when it starts. And yes, they can leave partway through. Okay, where does, the, where does the recording show up? The normal place. Okay, the recording will show up in a normal place. I'm going to show you right here. Okay, when you go here, once the, once the live stream is done, you click on video on the left-hand side. Okay, and you're going to see all of your recordings. Okay, there's all my recordings. Okay, see it right there. Okay, again, do guests need to be on a paid plan? It's a very important question. No, they, they do not need to be on a paid plan. Okay, there's a lot of other FAQs here, but I think those are the most important ones. Um, let me just double check here. There we go. Uh, okay, can you add guests to pre-recorded streams? It's a really good question here. No, it's only for studio streams. It's only for actual live streams that you are you are actually using the studio in. It's not for pre-recorded streams, okay? You and your guests both need to be actively live, okay? And, da -da, okay, and I think that is it. Does each channel get their own Super Chats? Really important. For all the YouTubers out there, it's a really good question. Yes, Super Chats are separate for the added destinations, and each channel would get their own, okay? So there you have it. I hope that is helpful to you. I hope you tried this out, test out this feature. It's a really cool feature, and I would highly recommend you check it out. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments. That's really what I'm here for. I have tons of StreamYard videos, tutorial videos over the years. I try to really stay up to, uh, up to date on everything that is StreamYard, and I use StreamYard myself. It's a fantastic platform for live streaming. It makes you look really professional, and you can live stream to multiple channels. You can have guests come on really easily. You can record podcast episodes. You have multiple uh, audio tracks as well uh, when you're doing podcast episodes and things like that. They even have features now where you can actually uh, cut up and trim shorts and reels from your live streams and actually publish it directly to uh, YouTube and Instagram uh, directly from StreamYard. And so it's a really awesome platform, very affordable, very fairly priced, amazing team. Make sure you join their Facebook group as well. They have an excellent community that's really supportive and friendly, and their team is amazing as well. I love those people over there at StreamYard. Thank you for sponsoring this channel. Thank you for, for supporting this channel. And I hope you guys check out StreamYard. If you have any questions, like I said, put them in the comments and I will answer them in a future video. All right. Again, thank you. My name is Rob Balasabas. I hope that was helpful and I see you in the next episode.